love America to the fucking death of me, but can we please give up the illusion that this is land of the free? Because what freedoms do we have? Freedom of speech, that's under attack with the guise of community standards. Freedom of press, that's not a fucking thing. Our press is so fucking polarized. Moreover, all throughout social media, this isn't available in your country, and they're regularly filtering the content we can see. Henceforth, the pressing need for a fucking TikTok ban. Our constitutional right to bear arms is constantly muddled with, oddly enough, school and mass shootings that seem to only happen around election years. That's oddly fucking coincidental. We don't have free health care. In fact, were overcharged for health insurance to be given overpriced health care that is actually to our physical fucking detriment. Our land isn't free. They're patenting soils and fucking seeds. They're buying up farmland. And if you do, by some chance, save up enough money that you paid income tax on to pay sales tax on land you purchase, to pay property tax on land you own, you are then charged for license and permits that need to be approved from the government to grow, hunt, fish, and build on the land you supposedly supposedly own, that they could take whenever they so choose under the right to eminent domain, that they regularly flex where it benefits the major corporations that are paying off the politicians that are designed to fucking serve us. So how? How are we free? Where's the fucking freedom? I, I just I just don't see it anymore. I love America to the fucking death of me, but... All right. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect, pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered. In these last days, all right. This is the brother Yakanan from the GMS England branch, and um, you know, as you just seen and heard in that video, you know, this woman was lamenting, all right. She was lamenting, you know, and she was venting in regards to the um, state of the land of America, all right, which is Babylon the Great, if you can receive it. Okay, and um, you know, I just came across this clip, you know, a few moments ago, and you know, she was going into a hell of a lot, you know, of points in that very short clip, all right, and you can hear, you know, the frustration in regards to the hypocrisy of the American system, all right their laws, you know, so on and so forth. And she was going into, um, you know, the press, how the press is controlled, all right, by we know who, all right, the small hats. She was going into the whole, you know, TikTok um, situation, how they're looking to ban TikTok, which that's going to be huge, all right? If they actually do ban, you know, TikTok, all right, something that people actually make a living off of, all right, and people are basically addicted to TikTok and, you know, other platforms of social media, that's going to cause uproars in itself. But that also just goes to show how low of a level, you know, the people actually are on, all right, to the point where you can remove an app and it can cause complete mayhem, okay? Now, she also mentioned, um, you know, the farming situation, you know, how they're patterning soil, how they're patterning seeds, you know, so on and so forth, and that's to get full control. All right, they want full control of everything upon the earth, man. All right, and that includes the people through the MOTB. All right, which we believe through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kodash, will be made mandatory in our lifetime very soon. Okay, so this devil is looking to gain full control upon the earth, the things on the earth, including the people. All right. Now, again, she mentioned, you know, the soil, you know, the patterning of the soil, the patterning of the seeds, all right, the land, all right, how, you know, when you have land, even if you buy the land and you buy a house, it, it doesn't really, you know, belong to you because there's always some some way, you know, that the powers that be can take it back from you. So you that you never really own anything in this wicked kingdom, okay? And people are waking up more and more to the hypocrisy, you know, of the system, 
All right. And she also mentioned, you know, the health care, you know, how, how they have to pay for the health care, you know, so on and so forth. So everything, you know, is coming down in the land of America. And these are the plagues that you have about Shimi Awashai, you know, ascending. All right. And things are only going to get worse. Things are only going to get more draconian. Things are only going to get more, you know, sinister and harder to bear as we move closer to the end of Esau Edom's kingdom. All right. So first of all, let me just start off with um, <clears throat> the book of Proverbs uh, 29 and 2. All right. Now, this is Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. And it says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, all right, the people mourn, all right? So here is a, a perfect example of the um, result of the wicked, you know, bearing rule, okay? And who are the wicked, all right? The wicked are the elites of you so-called white people, all right? You are the ones that are really, you know, ruling the world, you know, in secrecy, all right, in the shadows, all right, you elites, you know, beginning with, of course, you know, the Rothschilds, all right, the Gettys, the Oppenheimers, you know, all of these elite banking families that rule the world in secrecy, all right, that's the wicked, all right, the secret counsel of the wicked spoken of in the uh, book of Psalms, uh, chapter 64, okay, so they are the ones that are ruling the earth, and also when we go to uh, Malachi, all right, it, it it shows us in regards to the uh, borders, you know, wickedness, all right, and that's just you Edomites, you are the only nation upon the face of the earth, beginning with your elites, that fit the bill, you know, concerning the borders of wickedness, all right, you fit it perfectly, okay, so again, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, all right, so when you have righteous rulership upon the earth, people a part of that kingdom all right are going to rejoice all right because you're living in a righteous rulership a righteous a righteous establishment okay but when the wicked bury fool the people mourn all right and that's why the people are mourning upon the earth all right and namely you know in the land of america because the wicked are bearing rule all right now when the israelites all right you negroes hispanics and native americans beginning with the elect under Yahweh Shai, all right, when we are um, reinstated back in power, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, there's going to be rejoicing upon the earth once again, all right, of course, after, you know, you nations serve your slavery, all right, after we get our payback, all right, but in our kingdom, there's going to be um, a time of rejoicing upon the earth because people are going to be involved in and a part of and living in, you know, a righteous kingdom under a righteous vibration, okay? <clears throat> so what we're seeing now is the results of the rulership of the wicked, all right? Which they clearly, all right, weren't set up, you know, to, to rule in righteousness, all right? It was set up for them to rule in wickedness, all right? So you're going to see the contrast when Yahweh Shai, you know, makes his return, all right? Which another title, you know, for our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is the uh, Prince of Peace, all right? So Prince, peace will once again, you know, be upon the earth through Yahweh Shai, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, um, another scripture I want to get right quick is the book of Isaiah chapter 10 <clears throat> and verse 1. And it reads, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that write grievousness which they have prescribed. All right. So a lot of the stuff that she was mentioning, all right, were examples of unrighteous decrees. Okay. Purely unrighteous decrees, you know, coming from, you know, these devils, man. And that's how they rule. All right. They rule through unjust laws. Okay. And you're going to see how draconian things are going to get, you know, when they start pushing the mark, when they start pushing the MOTB, okay? Because people are complaining now about their liberties, you know, being taken away, all right? But you watch when the um, MOTB is made mandatory upon the earth. You're going to see how bad things are really going to get. You're going to see how draconian things are really going to get, 
you're going to see how bloody, you know, things are really going to get because they're going to use extreme draconian force in order to push, you know, that MOTB. All right. And if you don't take it, you're not going to be able to take part in society. You're not going to be able to be a part of the grid and to function in society the way that you used to. OK, so things are going to get really bad out here, you know, on the earth, man. All right. And that's why it says in um, what's that, Matthew 24. All right. Because iniquity shall abound, you know, the heart of many shall wax cold. And you can really see how that's going to manifest upon the earth, man, because people are losing their patience. All right. People are losing their patience. And when people lose their ability to support themselves, all right, and to feed themselves and their families. All right. That's when you're going to see, you know, a dog eat dog uh, um, um, environment. All right. Form, you know, upon the earth, which is already forming. All right. You got the immigrant, you know, situation all right, over in America. All right. And, and in various other places on earth, you know, over here in the UK, too. All right, so that's only breeding more hostility. All right, so Esau is is making the perfect uh, concoction. All right, for for um for um you know violence and uproars you know to break out upon the earth. All right, which is an order of KO, you know situation that he's bringing. All right, because he's going to give you the solution. All right, he's making the problem, but he's also going to give you the solution for that problem. All right. Now, from there, I wanted to go right quick to um the actual um GNT version of um Second Ezra uh, chapter fifteen, all right, in the GNT, and I want to start from eleven, all right, because many of the things that she was talking about is written here, you know, in biblical prophecy, all right. Now, this is Second Ezra chapter fifteen and verse eleven, and um. Again, this is in the GNT version, all right? So it says here, I will use all my strength and power to bring them out of that land. I will bring disasters upon the Egyptians as I did earlier and will destroy their country, all right? Now, who are the modern-day Egyptians, all right? That's the Edomites, all right? The modern-day Egyptians are the Edomites, man. And that's why it also says in the book of Isaiah, I will set Egyptian against Egyptian. All right. That's not talking about the ancient Egyptians. That's talking about you new Egyptians. All right. The Edomites. All right. So it says here, the whole land, verse 12, the whole land will be in mourning. It will be shaken to its foundations when I, the Lord, strike it and pound on it. All right. So that the land of America, all right, is in mourning, okay? And it's going to get worse. We ain't seen nothing yet. It's going to get terrible, okay? It's going to get absolutely terrible in the land of America because that's the focal point of biblical prophecy, all right? Uh, verse 13 says, all right, and she mentioned this, all right? The farmers will mourn because their seed will fail to sprout, and their trees will be destroyed by blight, hell, and terrible storms, okay? Now, what are they doing, you know, in regards to, um, you know, the farmers, you know, in America? And not only in America, but particular places over here in the UK, you know, they're making certain, you know, laws and policies to make it harder for them to function, you know, as a farm, okay? They're, they're patterning seeds, they're, they're patterning, you know, types of soil. You know, they're, they're putting restrictions on, you know, particular um, amount of, um, you know, fruit and vegetables and cattle that you can actually put into the market. OK, that's making a lot of these farms gone out of business. Then you have the Bill Gates of hell. What's he doing? He's actually buying up all the farmland. OK, so they can control it and control what comes out of that land. OK, so this is pure unrighteous decrees, man. All right. And in Habakkuk, it tells us how, you know, the law is slacked. All right, because judgment doth never go forth. All right, and it's starting to get to people. People are bugging out. People are losing it. All right. So it says, verse 14, the world and the people in it are doomed. Now, remember in the Apocrypha, it tells us about, you know, the day of doom. All right. So you, you people are doomed, man. All right. Anyone that is not under Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, all right. And his um, mercy, you know, and his grace, all right, you are totally doomed. And that goes for the, you know, two-third of our people in the land of America too, 
All right, the wicked of our people, you are doomed as well. Okay, uh, verse 15, the war that will bring their destruction is very near. Nations will arm themselves and fight against other nations. And we're having, um, you know, wars and rumors of wars happening right now. All right, you just had um, the um, yeah, the leader, you know, over in um, Iran, you know, he's been, um, you know, confirmed as dead. Okay, so we're in a very active time right now. All right, 2024 has already been a hell of a year. All right, and we ain't even halfway through yet. And it says here, there will be great political turmoil with one group trying to overpower another and gain control while ignoring the legitimate government. And that's happening, you know, upon the earth. And that's going to continue, you know, to get worse, all right? Because people are going to start, as they are now, all right, they're going to start rejecting, all right, the powers that be more and more. They're going to start getting more rebellious. And that's, what's, that, what's that going to force Esau to do? Come down hard and heavy and more draconian to put the people in order, okay? So, hey, man, it's, it's crazy out here, man. There will, be, there will no longer be free access to cities, because the struggle for power will bring destruction, terror, and total confusion, confusion, Salakia, wherever people live, all right? These things are happening upon the earth, man, all right? We experienced, you know, in the um, C-19 pandemic, all right, how you couldn't even move around, you know, the way you wanted to. There were curfews. There were times you had to be home, all right, by a certain time. And if you wasn't, you know, you could actually be... um arrested all right it happened out here in the uk all right if you didn't have a good reason you know to be out <laughs> then hey they could they could lock you up all right so these these times are coming back you know upon the earth man all right so um that's all i really wanted to get into you know real briefly in this lesson uh lord willing it was edifying unto you brothers out there and few sisters listening and learning all right and with that i'll say shalom